This is Kannan Karnat Tech Plug. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Kannan. Increase speed, free displays and improve performance of Windows PC. If you are using a Windows type PC, you please do the following functions to speed up your computer, improve the performance, free up the disk spaces. You click the window icon, you select run command. A new window will be opened. In that box, you type percentage term percentage. And it is a symbol percentage, not a word percentage. Now you click a OK button. A new window will be opened. Temp files serves as a temporary storage space for data, allowing programs to work efficiently. A new window will be opened. You will have lot of folders. You select one folder. With the help of shift and down arrow key, you select all the folders. Select delete. A new window will be opened. Editing process is going on. All the files won't be get deleted. Some of the files you have to try again. Some you have to skip or you have to cancel. You have to do this process continuously to delete most of the files. You may forget to close some online files. That's why those files are not getting deleted. Again in the window icon, you select run command and prompt. Please type temp. Dump. It is already stored system, so that you no need to type it again. You use often these temp commands, percentage temp commands to save your disk space. You click OK. A new window will be opened. You again repeat the process to remove those folders. You click select all the folders and delete. Remove to make your system healthy. In the window icon, select run, type prefetch and click OK, then select all the folders, delete it. Actually, this prefetch is not advisable to do because the system performance may decrease, but still you can perform this function. You can free up disk spaces. Windows will automatically generate them at, as needed. Prefetch files are temporary files that Windows uses to store information about frequently used programs to speed up their loading time. In the window icon, select run. In the command prompt, you type prefetch. It is already stored since I am often using this. If it is not available, you type prefetch. -E -E A new window will be opened. You click yes in the icon. Then another window folder will be opened. In that folder, you will have a lot of files. You select all the files, you delete it. Clicking the delete icon. System will delete uh, all the files. And uh, a new window will be opened in which you have to click try again or skip or cancel accordingly. To repeat the process. Same to as that of temp files. To remove all the prefetch files. By doing so, you will free up the disk spaces. System performance will decrease for a while. Computer will save new files in the prefetch folder. In the window icon, select run. You type sfc backslash scan now. You click OK. Windows will scan for Corrupted files, the missing files in the system and it will repair and uh, help to restore integrity of the operating system. In the search menu, type recycle. Recycle file will be opened. You open the recycle bin and you a new folder will be opened. You empty that recycle bin using an empty recycle bin icon. The folder will be empty. This will Please lot of spaces so that your computer performance will increase. Uh, feel that the system is slow by using prefetch file. Don't use it. Except that you use temp, percentage temp, percentage and uh, recycle bin. You empty those folders to improve the performance of your system. Click the window icon. You select the settings. Open the settings. You click the apps in the settings. You select startup apps. Apps are enabled. You disabled unused apps. 
during startups i have disabled two apps in the startup apps in the search menu you type disk clean up a new window will be open in that you open disk clean up again a new window will be open the system will calculate how much disk free space will be available you will find a new window in which it will indicate that how much free space you can make and the type of files like temporary internet files downloaded program files direct x uh, catchy temporary files thumbnails etc by selecting the type of files you want to delete you can free up space in the c drive so you select and click clean up system files you can see that the system is cleaning that those files as the c drive is cleaned the system performance will increase which may increase the overall performance of the computer in search menu you type defragment disk you will see that defragment disk file you please open the defragment disk a new window will be opened in that you select a click an advanced option you will find three different categories rows in that table you click c drive and two other items you click again analyze to analyze one by one those folders after analyzing the all the items you click one by one the items you click optimize for each and every rows all the three items will be optimized you free up the maximum volume space and you can use most of the space by defragmenting the disk the drive wear and tear will decrease but at the same time the system performance will decrease the health of the disk will also reduce that is your choice to select between defragment your disk or not it is a long and time consuming process it will take much time to defragment the disk at the same time all your files will come in a complete single block saving data spaces by disabling these delays can speed up the launch of the startup program in the window icon select or run or you please select windows plus r and type registered and enter you go to hachkey current user in that software microsoft windows current version explorer you click on explorer right click on the explorer select new key and name it serialize right click serialize select new and in d word 32 bit value and name it startup delay in millisecond double click on startup delay in millisecond set its value to 0 and click okay this will reduce startup delays click the window icon you click run you type r e g e d i t you click okay a new window will be opened it will ask whether you want to allow this app to make changes to your devices you click okay it will be opened navigate to hkey_current_user in that you select software under that you select microsoft again you select windows current version and explorer select new rename serialize right click serialize select new d word uh, 32 bit value and name it startup delay in millisecond double click on startup delay in millisecond set to value to zero and click okay windows wait for services to stop before shutting down which can delay the process reducing the wait time can lead to faster shutdowns in the same rigid command you please go to hachkey local machine system current contro control you find wait to kill service timeout entry double click it and change its value data from 5000 default is 5000 you change it to 2000 milliseconds click okay and restart your computer that will increases the time windows waits to services to end speeding up shutdowns you select hachkey local machine 
you click that under that you select system you click uh, system after clicking system you scroll down and you find current control set you click current control set again you scroll down and you find control you click the control option in the right hand side you will find wait to kill service timeout entry you click that wait to kill service timeout entry in the left hand side you will get a new box you the default value of the box is 5000 millisecond you change that millisecond to 2000 millisecond you click okay and restart your computer to improve the system performance there is one more thing we can do disable visual effects by doing this the computer performance and the system resources can be effectively used you have to use the same rigid command in the run and click okay you have to select the hatch key current user in that software microsoft windows current version explorer visual effects after doing that you have to right click visual effects select new you select do 32 bit value and name it visual effects settings double click on visual effects setting and set its value data to 2 to adjust for best performance click okay and restart your computer to increase the user experience uh, this will be used it will reduce the delay time for menus to appear can make the system feel snappier in the hatch key current user select control panel under control panel you select desktop in the right hand side you will find menu show delay entry you double click menu show double entry the default value is 400 you change it to a lower number like 90 or 100 and click okay after clicking okay you restart your computer if you are using broadband internet or wifi to increase the network performance there is one more option which will increase the internet speed and reduce the latency optimizing network performance can improve internet speeds and reduce latency in the run you have to type uh, rigid commands in that and click okay in that you have to select hatch key local machine software microsoft windows nt current version then multimedia in that you have to select system profile find the network throttling index entry click on it and set its value data to f f f f f f f f that is you have to u eight f's click okay and restart your computer this tweak disable network throttling maximize bandwidth for applications you select hatch key local machine under that you select software Microsoft. Under that, Microsoft you select Windows NT and the current version. Click current version. You will see multimedia. Click multimedia. You select system profile. Find network throttling index entry. Double click on it and set its value data to. Yf 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 yf. That is eight yfs. Click OK and restart your computer. This tweak disables network throttling, maximizes bandwidth for applications. This is one type of antivirus program available in the market. It will speed up your computer, clean up your computer, and uh, it will check for antivirus. In the speed up process, you click speed up. it will process scan the data and it will speed up the computer you click finish to speed up your computer actually when i was using a mobile data my computer speed was very very lesser by using the software it improved much you use wifi to speed up your computer practically you can check with the help of mobile data mode this is one type of software but there are number of softwares available in the market like avira kaspersky which may do a better job 
this software will also repair your software programs and by using cleaning disk and command prompt the second part is also a software based technique to speed up your mac pc and one more video you will see in future that is an hardware based technique in which you can speed up your computer thanks for watching please like comment share subscribe to my youtube channel kannan karnataka vlog